We are here for toning and abs. I don't need that. Plus, the plus is some modified high intensity training. We'll have four blocks of that during the class. In those blocks, we'll do eight cycles. In each cycle, we'll do 20 seconds of exercise and 10 seconds of rest. If we were doing this as purists, we would do the exact same thing every one of those eight cycles, but I find that intensely tedious, so I always mix it up one way or the other. We'll be doing our squat presses today, our posterior presses, our chest presses and our rows, some other stuff. So you're going to ideally have a variety of weights, but if you don't have a variety of weights, just make do with whatever you've got. And do what you can do and don't do what you can't do. We're going to warm up first. I'll turn the music back on. Let's march in place on the right, right. We're going to lift our knees, twist our arms across to work our waist like this. Step knee. Twist it side to side, work those obliques, keep it going, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, we'll open up our hips, bring your knee to the side, your thigh up to your elbow, your elbow down to your thigh, again, open those hips, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, we'll do some hamstring curls, we'll chop our arms, We'll squeeze our shoulder blades together. Try to kick your backside. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Double up that curl over here and here and double and double. Back to single curl for four, three, two, double for two and one. Single, single, double, single, single. Double, single, single, double. Two more sets, single, single, double. One more time, single, single, double. Lunge it out for eight to the right. Seven, six, open your arms. Five, open the front of your body. Four, three, two. Lunge it left side, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Before we do our first block of high intensity, we're going to do a split squat or a lunge back reaching for the front foot. So options. I'm going to ground my right foot, so my front foot for the first set. My left foot can step back each time as I fold my chest to my thigh, reach for the front foot. Or I take a long stance. I still have some space laterally between my feet. And I can bend my knees for split squat. So split squat, the feet are long to start. Lunge step back each time. So choose an option. Let's take the right foot as the, first, as the front foot for the first set. The line is long. Foot squat or lunge. Five, six, seven, eight. Down and up. Come all the way up each time. Keep your spine long. Lift your sternum for 12, 11, 10, 9 and lift, 8, Seven, six, five, four more, three, two, one. Catch your breath. Next set. Round the left foot, either lunging back on the right, or taking that split squat with your right foot back, Bending and extending. Choose an option. Five, six, seven, eight. 
spine is long, start on left, no rounding or hunching. Holding. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, up, 6, almost there, 4, 3, 2, 1. Got our legs going, quads, our hamstrings, and our glutes. Moving into our first block now. We're going to do squat press. Here are some options. Doing one arm at a time. You can keep both feet down. Or you can raise your opposite leg out to the side the first time through and then lift that knee the second time through. That's what I'm going to do. And in between sets, do this side, do this side. We'll do posterior press. Then we'll do knees, knees, press. I repeat it. So we'll end up doing, what, three sets of shoulders and two sets of press. Start with your weight on whichever side is your weaker arm. Just be sure to switch back and forth as we go. Rack it. Drop into your squat and go. press. Lift and lower. Up and down. Work at your own pace. I'm trying to work at tempo for the most part, but you don't have to. Press, lift and lower, up and down. Switching sides. Racking that weight. Dropping into your squat. Press. Exhale, inhale, up and down. Come all the way up. Reach for the ceiling. Almost. Posterior press. Come into a shallow squat with our palms facing back. Lift your chest. Go. Press it. Don't let those weights swing forward. Soft when your knuckles are pointing straight down. Press. Lift and lower, up and down, back to the shoulders. Squeeze, back to one weight, back to the side you start on. I'm doing a knee raise this time. Press. Lift and lower. Switch sides. Drop into your squat. Press. Go. Knee raise. Up and down. Sit back into it. Straighten all the way up. your press. Shallow squat. Palms facing back. Lift your chest. Go. Press it. Lift and lower. Keep it going. Squeeze back those shoulder blades. Last set of squat press. I'm going to alternate hip lift and knee raise. Like this. 
Do what you like. Just get that squat in there. Almost. Final round. Here we go. Last set. Rack that weight. Go. Out and in. Up and down. Almost. Recover. That would do it. For that block. Let's stretch out our legs a little bit. Right foot forward. Left foot back in a long lunge. Sinking the hips. Opening the left leg, hip flexors and quads. Try to lift the chest. Inhale and exhale, sinking lower into it. come up. We'll shift the weight into the left foot. We'll flex the right foot. We'll fold the chest toward the thigh for hamstring stretch. Inhaling and exhaling deeper into it. We'll rise back up. We'll step the right foot across the left foot. We'll push the left hip out. This way to the right. In that hip stretch here from those abductors. Let's open it back up. Left foot forward, right foot back. Long low lunge, sinking the hips. This time stretching the right leg, quads and hip flexors, lifting the chest. Inhaling and exhaling deeper into it. Breathe and sink. Then we'll shift the weight back to the right foot. We'll flex the left foot, dig the heel, face the foot, inhale the spine tall. Exhale, fold the hip crease, press the chest toward the thigh, hamstring stretch. Breathing and sinking deeper. Rising back up, bringing the left foot across the right foot, pushing the right hip out, Swaying left, stretching that right hip. Breathe into it. Let's come back up. Shake out. Do some heel raises next. You might want to hang on to a, a chair or a table or a sofa or a nightstand, or a vanity, or a buffet, or a sideboard. Weight is optional. I'm going to hold the weight in my left hand and pick up my right foot. Lift my left heel. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, how about we try to slow it to half time? Lift, lower, bring it up, bring it down, two, down, one, regular time again, eight, seven, six, five, lift to four. Three, two, one, shake out the legs. Using a weight, you can move it to your right hand. You can ground your right foot. You can pick up your left foot. You can raise your right heel. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, six, four. Two, how about 
half time on this side. Lower. Up. Down. Two. Down. One. Regular time. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three more. Two. One. Let's shake it out. We'll do one more set. Heel raises. It's our famous soleus emphasis. You might want to try not hanging on for this one since both feet are down, but you can hang on if you want to. I've got two weights because my hands are otherwise free. Bend my knees, push my hips back. I'm going to lift my heels and raise my whole body up and down like this. Eight. Notice I'm not tipping my hips, I'm lifting my whole body. Head and shoulders come up and down as well. Four, three, next. Up for one, count down for three. Yes, lift, lower, two, three. Bring it up, bring it down. Two and three, two more. Lift, lower, two, three, one more time. Up for three, down for one. Lift, two, three, lower, up, two, three, down, two more, lift, 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 lower, one more time, regular time, eight, seven, six, five, home stretch, four more, three, two, one, shake it out. If you were feeling something of a burn in your calves toward the end there, Probably doing it right. Let's bring the right foot forward. Take a long step back with the left foot. Round the left heel down. Inhale and exhale, lunging forward on the right. You might want to slide that left foot further back if you need to to feel the stretch in your gastrocnemius. Inhale, exhale, and sink into it. Now let's shorten the stance, plant the foot, soften the knee, and lean forward, and we're hinging more deeply at that ankle joint in the back there, shifting the emphasis of our stretch to the deeper muscle of the calf, the soleoleoleoleoleoleus. I might have added a few oleoleoleuses in there. Check it out. Left foot forward. Right foot back, right heel down, right leg straight. Let's keep those toes pointing forward and those hips square. Inhale, exhale, lunge on the left, stretch the right, keep that right heel grounded down. Or gas, rock, name your stretch. And then we will shorten the stance, soften the knee, hinge at the ankle, and lean forward. For the soli, oli, 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 and that block is coming up fast upon us. We're going to do rows. Grab a heavy weight. We're going to do a three-point stance with an option to raise the opposite leg. We'll do each side for a set. Then we'll grab two weights and do shrugs. And repeat rows, repeat shrugs and then rows again. That'll be our eight blocks. So, what do we have here? So grab that heavy weight and 
face your chair, whatever you're going to use for your support here. So we say try to start with your weaker side arm. Optional three-point stance. Row. Pull right up to your side. Squeeze back your shoulder blade. Exhale, inhale. Up and down. Lift and lower. Keep it going. Push out through that back heel. Switching sides. Still with rows, other arm. Row. Lift and lower. Squeezing back that shoulder blade. Row. Working our lats here and also our biceps. Shrug. Hip with stance. Pack your shoulders back. Lift your shoulders to your ears. Go. Shrug. Lift. Work in those upper trapezius and levator scapula muscles. Back to the side you started on for rows. Go. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Lead with your elbow. Row. Almost. Switch sides, other arm, second set of rows. Go. Breathe. Exhale up, inhale down, lift and lower, keep it going. Almost. Told you. Second set of shrugs, grab a weight in each hand. Stack your spine, pack your shoulders. Lift those shoulders Go. up. Last set of shrugs, just two sets of these. Okay, coming in for our third and final sets of rows. Back to the side you started on. Choose your stance. Row. Up and down. Lift and lower. Round. Second side, third set, last set. Choose your stance. Go. Almost. There you go. Recover. Time for a stretch. Let's interlace our fingers. Let's turn our palms out. We'll press out. We'll slide our shoulder blades apart. We might stretch across the upper back, across the upper portion of latissimus dorsi. We're going to shake that out. If you have a towel, you can gather it up. Hold it behind your back, with the backs of your hands against your back side. If you don't have a towel, just interlace your fingers. We're going to press our knuckles toward the floor, lifting the chest up, getting a deltoid stretch. But I saved the deltoid stretch till now, so we'd also get a nice stretch 
across our upper traps following those shrugs. Because that's how well you plan this out. You're welcome. All right, let's put that towel down. Get the backs of our shoulders. Just take your left hand across your right shoulder. Keep that left shoulder relaxed down. Your right hand, pull that left arm across. Posterior deltoid stretch. And we'll switch sides. Right hand across the left shoulder. Relax that right shoulder down, please. Left hand pulls the right arm across. So when I say relax that shoulder down, please don't do this. Keep it down. couple sets of side bends tonight for our obliques here. We'll just need one weight. Don't go super heavy on this. What we'll be doing here, starting with a really tall spine and flexing from the upper body, not pushing our hips out, keeping our hips stable, kind of lifting up and curling over to one side moving right down the side seam of our shorts. Not forward, right down the side. We'll do two sets on each side. We'll go back and forth. You can either do regular time, which is, or half time, which is. And I don't care what you do. I don't think it makes a big difference, to be honest. I say do what works for you. Half time is longer time under tension. Regular time is more dynamic. There's just trade-offs. I'm going to do regular time for the first two sets, and then half time for the second two sets. There's no magic to that. Just like sing it up. Hip with stance. Now I don't care which side you start on, just make sure you switch back and forth. Five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. 12 or 6 if you're going half time, 11, 10, 9, 8 or 4, 7, feel it in the opposite side, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, switch sides, still standing nice and tall to start, spine stack, shoulders back, side bend, Five, six, seven, eight, sixteen, or eight, fourteen. Lift tall each time. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. You want to feel this exercise on the opposite side of your body as these obliques have to contract to pull you back into alignment. <coughs> Let's go back to the side we started on. I'm going to do half time. You do whatever you like. So I'll just be doing eight half time. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven. Six, five, four, ten, if you're doing regular time. For four, four, eight, three, two, and one. Switch sides. Second set, second side. Spine stack, shoulders packed. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, or sixteen. Seven, six. I'm up nice and tall each time. Five, two, three, four, and lift. Four more. Three, two, and one. Breath. Put our weight down. 
let's roll our shoulders, sweep the arms up, with the right hand, grab the left forearm, grab the meaty part of your arm, not just your wrist, pull it up and over. Now you can push that left hip out this time, or deepen the stretch down here, to the side, the obliques, and the lats. Come back to center, and we'll switch arms, pull up, pull over, push the right hip out. Use your breath to expand the right side of your ribcage and sink deeper. Come back to center. Let's find a spot to have a seat so we can rest something across our knees with toe taps. You want to make sure your heels are a little farther forward than your knees. And then we'll flex our feet as hard as we can, lift our toes as high as we can, tap our toes from side to side, feel it in your shins for eight, seven, working tibialis anterior, five, side to side, four, three, two, one, and now we'll stop. Put whatever resistance you've got down. Take a second to brace the front and back of your body, a co-contraction, front and back, long spine. Lean back, balance on your sits bones, relax your ankles and shake your feet out. Circle your toes one direction, reverse direction. Just point and flex a little bit. Let's make fists with our toes inside of our shoes two or three times. Shift them out again. Boom. I guess as long as we're here, we could do a little twisty thing. Grab one weight. Give you a choice. Again, co-contraction, front and back body. You can just lift your heels off the floor. Keep your spine long with your toes down. Or you can lift your feet off. Now you can either Turn your whole torso side to side, or just move the weight side to side. They'll both do something similar but different. Choose your option. Let's go right and left. Right and left. Keep that sternum lifted, that spine long for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and relax. All right, what's that you say? You're ready for another high intensity block? All right, we're gonna move down to the floor for some chest presses and pullovers. We're just gonna alternate back and forth between chest presses and pullovers. You'll be using two weights for chest press, one weight for pullover. You might want to use the same weight. You might want to use, wait for it, different weights. Now on your pullover, you're going to have an option to do legs as well. I recommend doing the legs because that will engage your core more. This is very high tech. There we go. All right. Now, let's lie back, starting with our, well, let's see, actually, I was going to say the chest press, but Let's do pullover first. Why? Because it's more of a single joint movement. We'll go from single to double to multi-joint. So, pullover. On your back, ground your shoulders, weight is up, tabletop knees. You can just hold these knees in tabletop, that'll give you some core work. Or you can extend them up or further down. The further down you go, the harder it is. But be sure keep your torso, your torso engaged and spine neutral. 
Come to our starting position. Float your head. Go. Look at your own pace on this. These take longer because it's a longer lever. Make sure you've got control. Focus on those abdominals. Keep them tight, keep them flat. Hold a neutral spine. Let's grab our chest, press weights. Grounding our shoulder blades. Regular chest press. Go. Bend and extend. Don't drop your elbows below your shoulders, please. Almost. Back to pullovers. You can always change your options as you go along, <coughs> making it easier or harder. Go. Lengthen and lift. Inhale and exhale. Chest press again. Keep those shoulder blades grounded. Go. Bend, extend. Almost. That's halfway through the block. Set up for pullovers once again. Third set, tabletop knees. Go. Keep breathing. Lengthen and lift. Inhale and exhale. Chest press, third set, shoulders grounded, go, bend, extend, lower, lift, breathe and press, down and up. Last set of pullovers. Float that head. Go. Tighten those abs. Get that core working here. Draw your navel in. Last set of chest press. Round the shoulders. Go. Bend and extend. Inhale down. Exhale up. Home stretch. Three, two, one. Recover. Alrighty then. Take a breath. Let's extend our legs out. Sweep our arms overhead for a full body stretch. Pointing down through our toes, reaching out through our fingertips. Inhaling to lift the rib cage, stretch the abdominals. Exhaling to relax and release. Inhaling to lengthen and stretch. Exhaling to relax and release. Inhaling to lengthen and stretch. Exhaling to relax. Let's sit up slowly. Let's open our arms and squeeze our shoulder blades together. Little pulses back. Stretch the chest, the pecs, the anterior deltoids. Oh, it's time to play. Use that word in a sentence. Anterior. Use the word 
anterior in a sentence. Ready? You know, my family loves Halloween because they're kind of creepy. My cousin is eerie, my aunt eerier, and my uncle the eeriest of all. Anterior. Used in a sentence. You're welcome. Now, time for some concentration curls mixed in with some wrist curls and extensions. Oh my gosh, that sounds like so much fun. So you need a place to sit for this one. Well, that's not completely true. You could do this in a standing squat position. I have no energy for that tonight. So I've got my kind of medium weight for concentration curl. I'll need something lighter for wrist curls and extensions. So, concentration curl, one arm at a time. Choose your weaker side arm. Coming up to see you. Weak your side arm, grab your weight, brace your elbow against your inner thigh, use your leg to brace your arm, and curl that weight like this, lift and lower, up and down, exhale, inhale, keep it going, 12, 11, 10, curl for 9, up for 8, 7, 6, Stretch, four, three, two, one. We're going to switch sides, grab the weight, brace your arm, five, six, seven, eight, curl it, lift it, up and down, exhale, inhale, twelve, eleven, ten, Curl for nine, up for eight, seven, and six. Home stretch, four, three, two, one. In between sets of those, let's do some, some wrist curls. Hold whatever weight you're using with your palms facing up. Embrace your forearms on your thighs. Roll it. Curl it up. We're working our wrist flexors here. 12, 11, 10, 9, go for 8, 7, 6, home stretch, 4, 3, 2, and one. Let's put those down. Let's stop in the name of love. Pull back on the palm to stretch those flexors. I'm going to switch sides now. Pull back. Flexor stretch. All right, let's do our second sets of concentration curls. Let's go back to the side we started on and grab the weight. Embrace the elbow against the thigh. Five, six, seven, eight. Curl it. Lift and lower. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Seven, six, home stretch, four, three, two, one, switch sides, grab the weight, 
Waste your arm. Five, six, seven, eight. Curl it. Lift it. Look in those biceps. 12, 11, 10, curl for 9, lift for 8, 7, 6, home stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1. Set the weight down. <clears throat> Let's open our arms. This time we're going to turn our thumbs under. Press back, feeling the stretch in the biceps. Shake that out. <coughs> we'll do our wrist extensions next. Now, wrist extensions, we're going to hold the weight with our palms down. These are harder, so if you don't finish the whole set, not to worry about it. I do recommend sliding your hand to the outside head of the dumbbell. I find it's more balanced that way. Palms down. Keep those elbows pressed down to your thighs. Please don't see saw across your knees. Just curl it up. Lift it. Up and down. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, almost. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Extend the arm. This time, pull the back of the hand in for the extensor stretch. We'll switch sides. Coming up on our final block. Our final block is on the floor for core. We're going to do a set of bridges, a set of crisscross, and repeat. And then we're going to do triceps after that, still on the floor. So, moving down and bringing with us whatever weights we want to use for supine tricep extension once we're down there. Then we're going to start with bridges and um, I might vary them a little bit along the way. We'll see. I might do regular bridge, then marching bridge or something. I don't know, it depends how I feel. Depends what the voices say. So, plant your feet, ground your shoulder blades. Brace your core, lift and lower your hips. Go. Squeeze those glutes. Try to straighten the hips. Keep the core active. If you want to rest weights on your hips for more resistance, you can do that as well. Crisscross, draw the knees in, float your head. Twist one shoulder toward the opposite leg, extend the same side leg out. Higher is easier, lower is harder. Go. Turning side to side as far as you can. Keep the elbows wide. Twist the torso. Focus on your form and your range. Plant your feet. Let's lift into bridge first, hold up, and then march our legs. Go. Tighten that core. Keep those hips lifted and straight. Lower the hips, draw the knees in. Second set of crisscross. Remember, we're not trying to be fast, we're trying to be in good form, with good range. Go. Look 
Looking at our obliques. Transverse abdominis, rectus abdominis. Good overall core exercise. I'm going to rest my weights on my hips this time. <coughs> Bridge here. Go. Just adding some extra resistance. Don't go crazy with that. Again, activating those glutes. Third set of crisscross. Go. Let's do marching bridge again. Ground the feet, lift the hips. Keep the hips up, keep the hips straight. March the legs. Go. All right. Last set of crisscross. Go. Side to side. Let's hug our thighs into the Go. chest. Relax the head and neck. Rock out the lower back. Let's bring our feet down. We're going to stay here, grab our dumbbells, and do supine tricep extensions. So, shoulder blades grounded, weights up, it's holding at the elbows. Here we go. Bend and extend. Lower and lift. Don't hit yourself on the head, please. Four. Three. Next. Down for one count, up for three. Lower, lift, two, extend all the way. Bend, extend, two, and three. Two more. Down, up, two, three. One more time. Regular time. Eight, seven, six, five, and lift. Four, three, two, one. Catch your breath. In between sets, knee rolls. Arms out. Tabletop knees. You can straighten the legs if you want to make it more challenging. Keep the shoulder blades down. Let's roll left and right. Left, center, right, center. Turning through the waist, shoulders stay down. Straighten your legs to make it harder if you want to, working those obliques again. For eight, and lift, seven, and up, six. I like this because it's a stretch as well as an exercise. Four, three, two, and one. Center. Let's plant our feet. Let's walk our feet a little wider than our hips out to mat width if you've got a mat. If the knees fall inward, windshield wiper from side to side. Back to center. Weights up. Final set of triceps. Holding at the elbows. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. Seven, six, five and lift. Four, three, next. 
Down for three counts, up for one, down, two, three, up, lower, two, three, and lift, inhale, two, three, exhale, one more time like this, regular time, eight, seven, six, five, almost there, in four, you got it, three, two, one, put those weights aside, let's sit up, let's roll our shoulders, and sweep the right arm up, patting ourselves on the back, we can push or pull back that elbow, and stretch our triceps, keep your spine stacked and lifted, take it out, shoulder roll, left arm up, Catch yourself on the back, pull back the elbow, sit up tall, shake it out, roll onto our hands and knees, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, you can make fists for wrists, keep them aligned if you prefer, sliding shoulder blades down the back, lengthening the neck, inhale to lift the chest and tailbone, looking forward, Exhale to scoop the abs, looking down at your knees. Inhale, lift, look forward. Exhale, scoop it in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop. We'll come back to neutral spine. We'll bring our big toes together. Open our knees wide. Sink our hips to our heels and slide our hands forward. Sinking the forehead down toward the floor. Gently tractioning the back. Decompressing the spine. And now slowly walking our hands in toward our knees, we begin to sit up, taking our time so we don't get dizzy. Curling our toes under, holding back on the balls of our feet. Inhaling and exhaling to straighten our legs into forward fold. Inhaling and exhaling to rise up. Saddle stance for three deep breaths. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Keep those shoulders packed down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Inhale. And exhale. That's it. Give yourselves a hand, and we'll see you next time.